popular demand because recently I posted a YouTube shorts of a shoe store roleplay and I commented um, asking if you would all like to see a shoe collection video and well it seems a lot of you did and so that is exactly what we're going to be doing tonight now this is actually not the first shoe collection video I've done on the channel uh, believe it or not I've actually done two in the past do, 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 do. but since then I've got a few new pairs and I say a few because my shoe collection isn't huge as you will see in tonight's video and so you might actually see some shoes that were probably in the other videos but along with some new ones as well plus I know a lot of you watching may be new and might not have seen those videos so treat this as the best of the best from my shoe collection if that makes sense and so without further ado if you all enjoyed this video why not consider dropping it a big thumbs up let's see if we can shoot for 2000 likes I know I never really saw a like goal but that would be awesome if we could and if you're not subscribed already I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed it would really mean a lot to me and it helps support the channel so so very much also I know what you're probably thinking why are we in your bedroom for tonight's video I never do videos in here <laughs> well it's actually very very windy where I stay in Scotland at the moment very windy indeed such that my usual recording space and pretty much everywhere else in the house is very loud from the wind and the rain and my bedroom is kind of sheltered it's kind of at the back of the house so it gets the, the sort of back end of the wind if that makes sense so it's less noisy and if you do hear any wind in the background though I still I still Anyways, let's stop beating around the bush and let's get into the first shoe in my collection that I have to show, and that is the Nike Air Max S C, and this I have in the washed deal uh, colorway. As you can see, we have this nice deal. Almost kind of looks a bit turquoise, baby blue, a little bit, not baby blue, but like turquoisey light blue color, which is interesting because it contrasts with the, um, the black Nike dick, which I feel is quite interesting. So it's actually quite an old shoe, this one. There's not many places you can get this anymore. I think most of it is resellers. But I absolutely love the blue on this. It really complements when I wear like a blue hoodie. Or I have this uh, North Face jacket that's blue as well that I think it goes really well with. And you know, denim jeans and things like that as well. like shoe dapping and scratching and sounds. Did you know these little bits at the end of laces are actually called acolytes? These little bits at the end, they actually have a name. <laughs> but yeah, these are one of my Nike Air Max shoes that I have. They're actually a little bit worn now. Nearly had them for a year I think um, and I really wish you know I get them in a bit better condition in fact I've actually given them a bit of a clean before we started including this little pocket pocket of air pocket of air to give me that extra extra bit of like I ain't gonna lie I ain't that I ain't that tall <laughs> As we go through the shoes tonight, if the 
shoes I show you see let me know in the comments if you like it be interested to see which shoes from my collection you all like so that is the uh, first one I had to show for you all the next one and I gotta give you a little heads up for this next one this next one I actually wore on a night out recently so I try my best to give them um, as good of a clean as I could but these are one of my favorite uh, sort of newish pairs of shoes and that is the Adidas NMDs I think they're the R1s as well now these have been out for a very long time so I know when I say I got these recently it's it was kind of an impulse buy because I've always wanted some NMDs but I've just never got round to it I've always been hesitant whether to go for you know a white bear or a black bear or a grey bear I don't know which one but I, I don't really own many black shoes so sentence. Do you all own a pair of NMDs? If not, highly recommend you get some. They are amazing. Um, I want to get another pair. I'm not too sure. Also, you may all notice in tonight's video, a lot of my shoes. Nike, and that's because they're my favorite two brands. I want to, I want to get some, um, some. I really want to get uh, some Yeezys, but I believe their prices have shot up lately. Um, and I also want to get some New Balance. I don't know why I don't own a pair of New Balance. switch things up a bit for the next pair of shoes that I'm going to be showing you and these are a bit more uh, let's just say dress shoes although they're not really dress shoes and I say that because these are my fans I have a few pair of fans but these are the ones that I wear majority of the time these, I believe, are called the Vans Jack Bass. And I, as you can see from the little checkered bit on the side, it's kind of like a checkered stripe because Vans have those checkered ones that are like completely checkered. But I don't really like them. I don't think they look good at all, whereas they're, that's quite subtle. The little checkered bit on that. And it also has a checkered bit on this side. Kind of replicates a wave, replicates a wave. Fans are really nice shoes. I think um, once you first get one or two pairs, it can be a bit.
younger brother has a boat, 20, I kid you not. We had to just throw out about three of the same pair. I never know what this means on the inside, but it says ultra gush. Does that just mean like <laughs> it's extra comfy inside? Because for me, I've always found when you get a new pair of Vans, they take a little bit of wearing and do. They are a pair of shoes that you definitely need to wear out a lot for them to sort of get used to your, or your feet to get used to them, I should say. I'm a huge fan of like big clunky shoes um, and that is the Nike Air Max 200s what a design on these now I feel like a lot of you right now might be like what on earth they do not look nice at all but I think they're fire I've I found these shoes have been a bit of a love-hate relationship with the majority of people I've seen. They either say, I don't what, what shoes are you wearing? Or they say, yo, they are awesome. But they're kind of like a sort of silvery, off-white color at the front. With some black, wavy stripes. Little Nike dick on the side, and then it's more white at the back and round the bottom of the shoe. Got a nice big sole with the uh, air inside there. There's like three little holes as well. I don't know if you can see them. They're quite... Yeah, you can see it through there. It's a bit weird. These are the Air Max 200s. I usually wear these with like a pair of cargos or... Not so much with jeans, maybe cargos or like nice trackies and buy like nice trackies, nice cottons, things like that. I mean like sort of tight fitted ones. My more expensive ones. <laughs> and I'll usually just similar to the NMDs, just wear these when going out. my shoe collection was big enough for me to be on on the Matty Dingles level with like 30 parts to it because if I if I had the money and the, the space I literally don't have the space to store all my shoes but if I had the space I would have so many pairs of shoes
which is actually a brand new pair, um, which are are in replacement of a very similar old pair. Um, and these are my sort of running trainers. Um, they are to get the exact name because the the name is quite long. <coughs> they are the Nike React Infinity Run Flyknit Three. Now that's a mouthful, isn't it? Uh, but it keeps you like it says Flyknit on the side, so you can kind of remember that bit, and then it's tough to see, but. On the blue bit, it says Nike React, Nike React, Nike React. But as we were just talking about the sort of maroon burgundy vans, this is kind of a similar kind of color, isn't it? Um, and these are my running trainers, and whenever I go to the gym as well, I'll wear these. Um, because I used to have another pair of Nike Infinity Runs. Uh, or Nike React Infinity Runs, I think it was the first, the first part, I can't remember, but, um, that was the second, second shoe collection video I showed it, um, but they got worn out, and I mean, like, worn down to the soul, um, I think because I just did so much exercise in them, that they are probably the most comfy shoes I own these and they are so colorful you've got these are red with the black the white with the uh, thick as well orange and blue and yellow it's it's almost like a mustard yellow as well it's quite interesting um, and and they are the comfiest pair of shoes I've ever worn I get you not because they're called Flyknit. They're nice and warm. As you can imagine. These are one of my more expensive pairs of shoes. Bought these in London at the Nike store. curious I am a size 9 um, in fans I'm a size 8 I don't know why but I am um, and sometimes I'll get away with like a nine and a half as well but yeah the uh, knitted pattern is actually quite interesting as well it's like a little bit checkered along with some stripes and uh, they are, they've got to be some of my favorite shoes that I have in my collection, so. Gosh, the uh, wind is uh, really starting to pick up a bit now. I hope it's not too loud. Alrighty, while we're on the uh, sort of genre of shoe to do with um, sort of exercise, I thought I would show my basketball shoes which I have showed before and I'm pretty sure I've had them in the background of some videos so we while let go but for those who don't know I do play basketball and um, these are my Dame Fives Dame Fives now these come in I think three variations color colorways uh, the colorway I have is the uh, col I, I can I never know 
try to say it. Collegiate. Collegiate purple, I believe. Um, and I have had these for, I think, two years now. Um, just because, well, they have lasted me that long. They are so, so nice. And for those who don't know, uh, they are the shoes made by Portland Trailblazer. Damien Lillard. Damien Lillard. Damien Lillard. sort of, would you say, it's not really pixelated, but the sort of washy colors on the side, the mix of the purple and the light blue and the red, and the dark blue, and then this bit down here is also pretty nice with the uh, purple, and on the other side, you've got Dame's signature, and it says number five, which is actually upside down, <laughs> I just realized, but um, that's interesting, um, or I might actually have just realized it says number zero because he wears number zero, but anyways, hey, I guess I never noticed that, um, and we of course have the Dame logo on the front, and on the little tab at the back. so comfy. I think one thing I like about them is they have like relatively good ankle support up here with this little bit because I actually have pretty weak ankles when it comes to basketball mainly because I have injured and sprained them and even torn ligaments in them multiple times in the past having to go to hospital and things. Um, so, it's always tough for me when I'm um, trying to choose a pair of basketball shoes that will support them, and these have done great, so. I do want another, another pair of basketball shoes soon, though, so I can sort of switch between them because I've worn these out just a little bit. I don't want to wear them out too much, if that makes sense. But we will swiftly move on to the second last pair of shoes I want to show you all in tonight's video. And that is, I think I showed these in the last one. These are, oh, you can actually see them reflecting, which is really cool. These are the Adidas ZX700, or ZX, however you want to say it. I say ZX. They are the ZX700s, and these are probably my favorite sort of white slash cream colored pair of shoes that I own. Um, they're very subtle and very sly except when the light reflects on them, which I forgot. Um, super, super comfy. And, and they're just nice. They just are nice. I know they may seem very simple, but they're very, very nice. And they go with pretty much every outfit that I can wear or even think of. Which is another reason why I really like them. You got the logo on the inside. Let's see if I can get this for you. It's a little bit tough. Adidas ZX700. It doesn't say anything on the tab. 
so these shoes along with the last pair I'm going to show you are a little bit similar um, however I think I prefer these just over the other ones just a little bit little bit little bit uh, but they were both a gift from my girlfriend say on the side here. See if you guys can see that. It says ZX700 HO I think or it might be KO. I'm not I'm not so sure actually. But these are really good. I think they still make these. So if, if you guys want to get yourself a pair of these, highly recommend it. Super, super nice shoes. And on to the final pair of shoes of the video. As I said, they are quite similar to the last pair and you will sort of uh, see why. <laughs> uh, these are my Nike, 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 Nike N354 Squash type. Yeah, you heard me right. Squash. called squash um, but this is a little bit interesting these shoes because they have that similar sort of color style to the last pair you know with the sort of off-white creamy bit at the front it's kind of like a like a helmet to the shoe if that makes sense and then the rest is just white with the uh, white at uh, the black Nike outline we have the name of the shoe, the N354. <laughs> I forgot the number at the back. And it says squash type on this little label on the side. But what's interesting is the material of this bit at the front. It's so tricky to explain it, but it's very fuzzy. It's almost like, I don't know how to explain it, it's very fuzzy and it completely contrasts the rest of the shoe, but just like your regular shoe. And it has it at the back again with this little black bit right here. Like I said, these were also a gift from my girlfriend, so big thanks to her. She definitely knows the type of shoes that I like. And um, we'll put it this way, I think I need to get some uh, some some new pairs that, that aren't Nike and Adidas for the next one if I do another one of these right. I'm sure you're probably all thinking that. <laughs> but hey, I, I like my Nike and Adidas, so I hope you all do too. They're probably the two biggest shoe companies, right?
I said, I do have loads, loads more shoes that I would love to show you, but we'd be here for a very long time, and a lot of them I've actually already shown you in previous videos, but uh, there are some of my newest pairs and some of my favorite pairs as well. So let me know what you think of all of them, and uh, there will be timestamps that show you the names of each shoe, so if you would like to get a pair yourself, you know what they're called, and um, if you want to comment down below, please let me know which pair was your favorite, and if there's shoes you think I would like, let me know too, because I definitely want to get some new pairs, especially as the holiday season's coming up, so... Anyways, I want to thank you all so very much for watching. Uh, I hope the wind hasn't been too loud, too loud, too loud, too loud, too loud. And I hope you've all enjoyed regardless. And if you have, then be sure to drop this video a big thumbs up. As I said, let's see if we can aim for 2,000 likes. That would just be incredible. See you all in the next.